On behalf of Pure Life Society, under the very capable leadership of young Barbahagya Datin Paduka A. Mangalam, or Mother Mangalam, as she is endearingly referred to, INSAF and the CSA, or Center for Spiritual Advancement, I'd like to extend a very, very warm welcome to each and every one of you to the 10th Swami Satyananda Memorial Lecture 2017. My hearty welcome to all of you present here today. The purer the thought, the more powerful becomes our prayer, more so if it comes from the depths of silence within us. Bless us, O light of all lights, to nurture the true love of Thee and express our love for Thee through loving service to our fellow men. Amen. Amen. Om Shanti. Thank you, Mother, for leading us this morning with that meaningful, spiritually charged prayer. And now we move on to salutations by religious leaders. May his peace and grace and blessings be upon all the messengers, the prophets and the saints, their families and their companions, the righteous and all of us here, and always bearing in mind that we are one family. Thank you very much. Salam alaikum. And unto you, O Creator, we ascribe all glory and honor now, always, and forever. Amen. <laughs> to have a successful function today. Om Shanti. Om Kar Satnam Karpapa And it ends with all the success. Thank you. Creator of the universe, we want to thank you for gathering us here this morning through your precious name. Amen. But we must first acknowledge the one person who is responsible for us being here. And that person is the late Swami Satyananda. So thank you very much for your patience, and I hope we all have a uh, fruitful day today, learning from the experts um, and uh, becoming more spiritual in the process. Thank you. Salam alaikum. I asked for strength, and God gave me difficulties. I asked for wisdom, and God gave me problems to learn to solve. I asked for prosperity. God gave me a brain and brawn you know, to work. I asked for courage and God gave me dangers to overcome. I asked for love and God gave me people to help. I asked for favors. God gave me opportunities. You know, I received nothing I wanted and yet I received everything I needed. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters.
The great paradigm shift also calls for an end to political strife by handing governance back to the non-politicians. Do get your free copy at the reception table before you leave, as there are some uh, limitations to the number of copies. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening. It's a beautiful prison. Thank you, Mother. And now I'd like to call upon the following individuals. We'd also like to announce that in Simple representation, uh, something very graphic, yet that uh, that uh, we can actually understand and actually appreciate from this this uh, painting that is done by the Tibetans. Thank you. The definition of good health includes the spiritual dimension as well. These three is included inside. So physical, mental, and spiritual. These three have to come together. And people begin to see the 90 over percent of diseases come from stress. People are not experiencing happiness. Mental depression will become the number one disease in the world. People don't know how to become happy. And that is what religion and spirituality and journey within has got a role. To confer that happiness. Past is past. Love everyone. Do not put any single individual into your system and spoil your cellular memory. So the whole idea is to live today. Evolution evolves spirituality. Willpower is to flood self with positive in order to flush out the negative. This is the basis of healing. The basis of healing is that in science people have shown by giving constantly unconditional love, your whole body will produce endorphins. And in that state of endorphins, you'll be very happy, very joyful. And because there's nobody and nothing Thing that is worth the time taken from your blissful state. So experience this state of bliss all the time. Let go. The whole idea is don't put too many things and plan and let go and let the universe decide. The universe have got the intelligence. They will be part and parcel and resonate with the universal principles and live life happily, peacefully. Do not form judgments. Do not make your life become a source where you keep many things inside. Let whoever that has hurt us forgive them and this is what Hari Raya Deepavali we always say forgiveness it's a big science because when you forgive and you genuinely give it there is a programming a reprogramming taking place so that your cellular levels don't program your subconscious intentions and spoil your intentional life because we are here to experience peace blissful happiness joy and truth truth is one that you understand you will get to your ananda that is why the swamiji's name is satyananda so satya will take you to the ananda with when you understand the truth it takes you to bliss and that is what this whole occasion is and we hope that with these few words that some thought will go back to making our life a better one from tomorrow thank you so much uh, we don't have time but it's an interesting uh, question to pursue uh, in otherwise um, scientific, spiritual, spiritual um, discussion. So, please, another round of applause for our great uh, speakers. And uh, thank you, everyone, for your patience. And finally, Dr. Amit Bhavid. Thank you, gentlemen. Finally, to all those who attended this morning session, my love, extend to you all for your rapt attention. I hope you leave this hall spiritually refreshed and carry the message of harmony to all those whom you interact with in your lives. Thank you so much.